Uh, first of its kind house is for sale. It's made with 3D printed cement. Has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It costs $299,000. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan takes us inside. Lines forming in Riverhead, and in come the curious. Right now, this is the most viewed home on the planet. Long Island realtor Stephen King may not be kidding. This is believed to be the world's first licensed 3D printed home listed on the open real estate market. Everything, the feel about it, it is all traditional, but it's built by a robot. 1,400 square feet, the concrete footings, foundations, interior, and exterior walls went up in 40 hours, says 3D builder Kirk Anderson. We mix our concrete on demand and we have a giant 3D printer follow the floor plan and print each wall layer by layer. And in the town of Riverhead, where the search for affordable housing is spiking, the Moya family learned about the price tag. $299,000. Wow, that's, that's great. We would be able to have affordable living. Proponents say the cost of 3D technology construction is 50% cheaper than the cost of comparable newly constructed homes here in Riverhead and 10 times faster. How quickly could you build one of these houses? We're hoping to build houses under 100 days. Expediting the process by cutting back on labor costs. It's a radical change for job sites. And the machine is autonomous. There's as little human intervention as possible. After the structure is printed out, other trades and crafts people come in and finish off the finer details. This is where your electrical, your plumbing, and your blown in insulation goes. Building codes approved by the town. Energy efficiency cited. The concrete home has three bedrooms, cement closets, yep. two baths, a detached garage, sliding glass doors, and arched timber ceiling. The opportunity to have a new construction home for $299 on Long Island, you, it just doesn't exist. Strong and durable enough to last 50 years, claim the 3D builders, believing this affordable technology could be used to tackle homelessness. From Riverhead, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.